I don't quite know why um, the Orchid House has been so successful, but I think maybe the fact that everything has been very difficult for everybody economically means that we all look for comfort and we all go back to the past where the problems that we're reading about in the sense have already been sorted out rather than looking to the future. I definitely think that uh, my house in the UK inspired me to write this book because it is such an inspirational place to live and I know how lucky I am to live in it. It's a very old hall. It was an estate once with thousands of acres and just like um, many houses in England uh, that are similar, it's the land's been sold off but we still have the beautiful house. And I also have a friend who has a beautiful estate and the beginning of the Orchid House is all about how Kit, the hero in the book, has to sell off his house because he can't afford it due to death duties. And a friend of mine was going through exactly the same thing. So everything that I write about is inspired, number one, by the location and by the house. And uh, I live vicariously through my character's uh, properties in a way. I think what's interesting is that there isn't a family in the world that does not have skeletons in their closet, doesn't have family secrets. And the intriguing thing for me when I'm writing is how the past affects the present. And I suppose the moral of all my books and the theme that runs through them is actually hope and redemption from understanding the secrets of the past and dealing with them. And I think that's what we all have to do.